Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my notion I don't need nobody else but me What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a super in-depth frontal wig install tutorial whatever you want to call it you guys and in today's video you guys we're going to be using a wig it is from a aliexpress vendor store whatever you want to say the name of the store is hj weave beauty official store and this is their 13 by 6 lace frontal wig 34 inches 200 percent density transparent lace which as you guys can see here i'm just trying on the wig seeing how the length looks i was kind of iffy on the 34 inches but either way it goes to get a 34 inch wig for basically less than 200 dollars i don't care if it was 30 inches that's just bomb here i'm showing you guys the size of the knots and how the lace i mean not the lace but the hairline looks so far it's a little bit pre-plugged it looks really good nice small knots i very much appreciated that 18 minutes into the bleaching and baby yeah this is about to be installed here i think yeah so i'm gonna keep letting it bleed so it can get every black knot as you can see though they is bleaching pretty good Oops, but nothing crazy so yeah i'm gonna let it finish it got like eight more minutes i can see that it was just black but I can pluck it out. I say for an Elliot's first move. For the knots to bleach like this. I recommend already. Look at that. Scalp. I ain't pluck. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So this is what she's looking like. Nothing crazy. You can't even really tell that I pull up this real. But if you know me in real life, you know I don't pull up my wigs like that. And then the ball cap is drying. So I can put makeup on it as you can see. So we're about to get ready to install and then I'm gonna give you, get ready to install. And What's up guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today you guys, we're going to be doing a wig install. I'm going to be installing this beauty. So we're gonna see, but this is a 13 by six. It's dark because I don't put, you know, my makeup on it. But that's all lace, baby. It's at least, I would say, I would say it's a good parting space. So, of course, you, as you guys can tell, we're skipping the ball cap. In another video, I will show you guys my method of doing my ball cap. But the first thing that I'm going to do is to, of course, try the wig on, sit it, and see where I want to place the glue and how I want the hairline to sit up. And also, one thing that I noticed helped me a lot, y'all make sure all the hair is out of the way. Push it back, hot comb it back, clip it back, get it out the way. That's going to give you the cleanest install because you're not gonna have straight hairs everywhere so as you guys can see i'm like oh yeah this install is about to hit it's about to hit all right y'all so far starting this game real delicious so first thing i'm gonna do honestly is cut my grid tabs but of course the first thing that i'm going to do is to carve out where i'm gonna be you know cutting not the ear tabs but i guess cut it where i guess there's are ear tabs i don't know y'all but yeah so i'm going to be cutting around my ear i'm not going to cut it up too high because once you let it go it's going to fall naturally where it needs to anyway so i could like right where my ear is so that it'll fall and cover up what i needed to cover because y'all i hate when i put my wig on and where my ear is you can see either my ball cap or you can see my hair and it's just peeping out because I, I cut too much of my lace off but on each side i carved it out and i cut it just enough so that it can cover what i needed to cover and then i moved on to the next step Okay, guys, so it's already looking good, number one. Let me put my lighters. And so I had done did like the whole 
cleaning of the skin and um, stuff like that. So as you guys can probably see, you see my ball cap. The glue I'm putting on here for my wig is going to be like right in front of that. I don't want my hair, I don't want it. Well, anyway, yeah, it's gonna be right in front of my hair. So I'm using the Ebon, however you see it, lace glue, and I'm using Supreme Hold. So I'm taking this glue and a popsicle stick. Yeah, I get my popsicle sticks from Walmart. And I am going to apply three layers minimum. I really don't remember if I did three or four layers for this wig. But most of the time, I do three layers minimum. And if I want more of a hold, I use four. And y'all, this glue is just getting everywhere. It just kept getting stuck. I would press it. It would just go everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I took three layers. Make them really thin. Like, if you make them thin, then when you go to the next part, it's going to do what you need to do. And y'all look at this mess. I was just like, really like, oh my gosh. it would do this right now. What the fuck? But yes, yeah, so I just went in and cleaned it up. Alcohol cleaned it up, whatever, and went back to applying my layers. And when all the layers are clear, I'm going to go in and stick the wig down. So it's not 100% clear, but if you know me, I'm impatient. So I'm gonna go ahead. And then once I have the wig exactly where I want it, I'm going to take any tool, but I'm using the comb, and I'm going to really press it into the glue. And then after that, I'm going to add a band. And then I'm going to tie my band down. And then I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to wet the curls and stuff like that. And then put the baby hair and stuff and we'll be finished. Once I wet it, we'll, you know, look at the length and stuff. But so far, so good. We're going to see how the lace do because for some reason this don't feel like it's sticking. So we're going to see. But I'll be back after I let this see it. Probably about an hour. For sure. So after I let that see it for as long as I could see and now we're gonna get into the cutting so first thing that I like to do I like to cut my lace into sections just to just so that I can kind of like you know cut those sections off go in make sure that it's good so I'm cutting these sections with some new scissors and now I'm taking this razor and I'm going to razor cut the sections and I noticed what works the best is to cut it diagonal like this and then use the other end to just make sure that it's really placed down but yeah so that's basically what I'm doing all over and as y'all can see, I already knew it was about to hit. So, and then once I got done with that section, I lifted it back. And whatever it was lifting at, just a little bit, I went in with a little bit more glue. Just one layer. And I ain't even wait for it to really dry clear. I just went ahead and stuck it while it was wet. Because I was noticing this glue was acting a little funny. The yellow one works perfect. The black one added uh, just a teeny bit funny. So, I just really was like going in trying to really make sure that this install was going to eat. So, any little bit of lace that was sticking up, I went in and glued down perfectly. So, that's basically just what I'm doing right here. I'm doing it on both sides and then move on to the next step. Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Give and we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let And a tip that I picked up from this girl on YouTube, her channel name is like Felicia Doucet or something like that. But 
she says for like transparent lace and stuff like that that she adds a thin layer of glue on top of her client's lace as well so i tried that here and i highly recommend it definitely a gem it definitely helps so after i did all that and gave it a time to kind of like air dry i tied the band on it so that it can sit while i go through and hot comb and get ready to style and just flat and everything so in the back really i had no rhyme or reason for anything i just you know hot comb back to cover the tracks that's all i was really worried about i went in and made sure that my middle part was a middle parting it probably still wasn't but you know who whoever really gets a true true middle part but i tried my hardest and i just made sure that it was flat and given the shape that i wanted to so basically i'm just going through and sleeking and restyling and replacing the hair where i want it and just getting it prepared for the next step of, of styling and but all do you see it do you see it is that we ain't even let it really sit that long but now we're gonna jump straight into baby hairs y'all baby hairs it is not an overnight skill baby hair is something that you're just gonna have to practice you're just gonna have to figure out your way of doing your baby hairs i can tell you ways to make it easier and i will tell you that right now so number one how come your baby hairs in a downward motion big help because it's going to help you to go ahead and start the shape it's not going to be that hard to you know be trying to get the shape and everything else then you have to figure out how i guess short long whatever how you want your baby hairs that is entirely up to you i wear my baby hairs different ways every time but the main thing is just getting kind of like that shape also making sure that you're plucking them one thing I also learned from the girls channel, um, Felicia, she says that she shapes out her baby hair. She don't care how thick it looks, how thin, whatever. She gets the shape how she wants. Then she goes in and pluck the baby hair to get them to the desired density that she wants them to be. So that's what I did here. I highly recommend that as well to just go ahead and shape your baby hairs how you see them to be and then edit and pluck them to look that way. So I went and got my wax stick so that I can sleep the hair out of the way because I'm going to go ahead and hot comb the hair back as well so that I have no hair getting into the way of the baby hairs. Like I said, y'all want a very clean and neat install. So I'm really taking my time and taking the necessary steps to ensure that everything is nice, sleek, and clean looking. So I'm taking my even spray and I'm going to spray it onto my fingertips and into the areas where there are no baby hairs. I'm just going to tap it with that spray and then where there are baby hairs, I'm going to spray it down with that spray. I'm going to take something to kind of fan it and let it dry before I put the band on because y'all that's another tip gym that I learned. Let that dry so that it doesn't stick the lace to your lace band. If you go ahead and let it air dry a little bit, first off you can already see it's going to be melted period. Then when you tie the band down, it's not going to stick to the band. Also here I'm using a smaller band just so that I don't have that huge line on my face while this is drying. And yeah, I'm going to let this sit for as long as possible. And while I let it sit, I also put water onto my hair. But y'all look at this. Tell me that's not melted. Tell me that's not my hair. Tell me my name is not Valentina. Y'all excuse Logan. But now I'm doing baby hair. Oh my gosh. I'll be taking hairspray and Gorilla Snot to do the baby hair. So here I'm taking this razor again to cut the baby hair. I usually like to cut my baby hair like right across, I mean right on top of my eyebrow. And I'm taking this very teeny flat iron to curl my baby hair. Y'all, another gym. I've been talking about this for a while now. Get you a little flat iron to do these baby hairs. So once I curl them, 
I like to curl the ones in the front and the middle down and my side burns up. I'm going to then spray my toothbrush or the baby hair with a little bit of hairspray so that I can kind of brush them into the shape that I want. I'm then going to take a pair of scissors if I need to to cut the baby hair shorter or whatever. And then I'm going to take Gorilla Snot to put onto the root, number one, because you know doing that is going to also reinforce laying your lace down, number one. But number two, also, I just don't like to use a lot of bit a lot of gel to do my baby hair because I don't you know want too much product on them but then I swoop them add a little bit more spray so that I can finish them out and then move on to the next one for my sideburns I'm going to do the exact same thing like I said curl them up spray a little hairspray to get the shape edit them if I need to with my scissors and then <laughs> edit them if I need to with my scissors and then shape them And y'all, y'all see how my light went out on me? Just trifling. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this side and then let you guys see me do the other side as well. This wig is definitely giving foreign. And may I say again, it was only $200. Not even $200. It was like $196, $197. Like, be for real. This is definitely a great wig. Highly recommend it. So now I'm just going through doing some final touches, re-cleaning up the hairline, restyling it, re-sleek. Just doing any final touches that I can see. Like I said, y'all, I was trying to make sure that this install eight. So I tied it down again. You guys, this time I used my um, band that I personally sell. If you would like a band like this, I will have it linked down below. It has the ear protective cuffs on it to protect your ears while wearing it. Excuse the extra product on it. But yeah, cause I, I let it stay on for a super long time. But that's old product from other installs. But yeah, you guys, so this is the final look. I'm going to just finish, you know, put some wax stick on it just slicking it down just like i said final touches but overall this is the final look again as i said i highly recommend this wig love the curl pattern this is the length dried i like where it said it because like i said regardless of the true length y'all it was less than 200 dollars. i really don't even care but if you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe i have more hair videos coming soon so be on the lookout for that if you guys enjoyed Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Sin signing off. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Peace.